race fans, it's Sean, and welcome back to Behind the Helmet, our show that gives us an inside look at some of our favorite drivers. Today with me, I'm uh, lucky enough to be talking to Mitch Evans from uh, New Zealand, racing for Panasonic Jaguar Racing. Mitch, how you doing? I'm great, thanks. Thanks for having me. What have you kind of been, you know, have you been keeping yourself busy, you know, during during lockdown? Yeah, it's been unusual, you know. I think I think that everyone's obviously been a very strange time to try and keep busy. Um, and and to be honest, I've been on the go since I left New Zealand like ten years ago. So I've I've never really been in one place for more than a few weeks. So that was unusual. I was starting to miss airports, which was something I would never thought I would uh, I would miss. Um, so yeah, I was just trying to do my own sort of get into a slight routine, you know, exercising in the morning, in the afternoon. Um, yeah, just doing little things, watching a lot of you know, old family races, Netflix, um, keeping in touch with the team quite often with my engineer because to be honest, they, they could still work from home because a lot of it's, you know, computer based. So they could mm-hmm. actually, um, they can work remotely quite, quite easily. Um, so yeah, I was in touch with them quite a bit. So yeah, I actually got to a point where I was in a good, good routine for once in my life and, and you know, it was, it was all good. But honestly, now, now that I've, I can start to travel, travel a bit more and, and, and go to the UK and, and um and see the team and, and get into like a sort of an let's say a normal habit because we've got we've, now we've got those races confirmed um that, that's a lot that's a lot bit of a bit of feeling so yeah it's been it's been crazy but uh i'm really happy to see the back end of it now yeah man yeah i gotta imagine uh, you know ha- going from you know you kind of like kicked off the season you know you're used to traveling and stuff and then you just be like locked down and, and kind of you know in this state of like what's going on next it's that's gonna be uh, pretty tough yeah, yeah. I mean, I think it was it was obviously tough for everyone, but let's say from from our point of view, we were actually gaining a lot of momentum within our season. You know, we were we were fighting we were fighting for the championship. Yeah. So, how did you get started racing? It's it's always really interesting to hear how you know everyone started. Yes. So I started back when um, when I was very young. My my dad used to race. Mm-hmm. Um, my I got an older brother. Um, who got started uh, when he was around seven, and uh, he's he's like three years older than me. So I, I actually started having a go in go karts around the age of four or five, so wow. very young. Um, and I was always going to watch my dad race. He was very very good driver um, on a national level, and, and he raced a little bit overseas. So I was always going to his races, and then you know I was born into it. So it was it was sort of natural for me to get into it. Um, doesn't, doesn't, it's not obviously a given that you have any sort of, uh, you know, ability to it, but, you know, I, I started winning things quite early on, like when I was on seven, eight, and then you just get like the drug, you know, you get that, that winning feeling and, and that's so powerful and that just sort of, I knew from an early, from an early, um, part of my life that this is what I wanted to do, which is extremely lucky because it's, that's very rare, I think. Um, and, uh, I've just not really looked back since, so I've just been, just been, uh, on a charge since I was six, seven years old, and I've raced every year since. So um, I'm 26 now. I just turned 26. So yeah, it's been race. You know, it's been a, a you know two decades of 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 uh, of, uh, of motor racing. So um, it's been cool. And I've just done yeah a lot of a lot of cars in, in New Zealand, and then I got out of cars quite early, around 13, um, to get into like Formula First, Formula Ford, race in Oz a couple of times, a couple of, for a couple of seasons. And then came to Europe in 2011. So, yeah, it's uh, it's been a it's been a wild ride. Yeah, wow. I, yeah, I mean, it is incredible to me to just hear. You know, I think um, a lot of the drivers that I've talked to, you guys have such similar you know upbringings where you started extremely young and kind of had this this path. That, to me, that's wild. Like I'm I'm still not sure what I want to do with my life. And you know, you've been been doing this for like what two thirds of your life already. That, that's in, that's incredible. Yeah, and it, you know, as I say, uh, I, I feel very lucky. The older I get, the, the luckier I feel to, to have the, the opportunity to, to start in the, in the sport um, and then to know what I wanted to do. So they gave me a lot of drive from early from an early age. You know, motorsports a very very tough industry to try and create a living from mm-hmm. because there's a lot of investment up front. Um, I was very lucky to have great support from from sponsors. Um, from New Zealand's and, and obviously that comes from results so you need it's a bit of a catch between so you need the results to try and get the backing and um, you know it's, it's not an easy industry to crack but once you start getting some results and, and some momentum 
you know you can you can start to fund you know these these you know from um you know carding days and form a horde and then trying to keep leapfrogging yourself and and um that's really tough because the more the higher you get the more expensive things get to to mm -hmm. to get to a stage of trying to become professional so um i'm very i'm glad those days are behind me because they're very stressful and, and my dad did a great job of finding me sponsors um that that have given me this opportunity to you know to earn a living from from a sport that i love so yeah i feel very lucky but um it's also a lot of hard work and obviously mm -hmm. a lot of pressure from an early age but uh yeah no it's it's very very cool sport to be part of and hope to be part of it for for you know for quite a few years to come yeah absolutely uh, so how long have you been with formula e and then the other thing is you know um what is one of your best memories like so far and most memorable uh thing you've been involved with yeah so i've been i've been involved in formula e since 2016. um i came into formula e with jaguar when they entered the championship yeah so that was season three we're currently in season six so yeah i've been i've been uh i'd say i'm one of the veterans to a degree you know there's some guys that have been there since season one so um yeah i'm relatively experienced within the championship um and i've obviously stuck with the team since then so we've um we've had a few good highlight highlights especially over the last two seasons uh in, in rome in season five we had we got our first win which was which was amazing we got our second win in mexico this season um earlier this year so yeah there's been a few really cool cool moments and and obviously this year we've been battling for the championship from from the get-go so yeah it's uh, uh it's all shaping up nicely but um yeah it's 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 a cool championship and category and, and also also brand to be part of with, with jaguar so uh yeah it's it's uh I'm in a good place at the moment, so that's that's cool. I want to keep that rolling. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, I think um, you know we kind of uh, on Real Racing Three, we kind of got involved with um, Formula E right as Jaguar um, kind of you know also became involved. And you know, I'm not trying to play favorites or anything, but uh, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. And like the look of the car, the teams, everything. I was uh, very cool. It was very cool to see that that come about. Yeah, they did a good job. You know, they they're, they're a big premium premium brand, premium product. So. Um, you know, uh, yeah, they, they do everything properly, which which is great to be part of. You know, so um, obviously there's other big brands, big big manufacturers in 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 Formula E, but you know, Jaguar do a great job from the marketing side and and um, from a brand point of view. So yeah, it, it's a great brand to be part of, and I'm, 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 there's a lot of history as well in the sport. You know, you go back go back decades, um, and they've been pioneers in the sport for for, for years. So to continue that legacy into Formula E with this new sort of era of of life, you know, the automotive industry going electric and obviously with Formula E. So, um, yeah, very, very, very special times. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a cool thing to be part of, for sure. Uh, yeah. and so, uh, kind of moving away from racing just for a minute. So, what are some things that you are like, you know, passionate about or into when you're, you know, you're not racing? Like, do you have any hobbies or anything? Mate, to be honest, I'm pretty boring. Um, <laughs> um, racing, racing, and traveling takes over most of my life, so I don't have a lot of there's a lot of downtime, and I definitely worked that out when when we had this lockdown period. Um, that's a fun things to do. Yeah. So yeah, not, nothing really in particular. I mean, I do a lot of fitness. You know, I like I like keeping on top of my health, um, running, and and just not, nothing crazy. I like I'm not doing Ironman or something, but I, I like to like to. Um, Keep, keep healthy and, and, and keep fit. So that, that's definitely a hobby and that's something I've been doing for years. Um, for my racing, but just for my own own well-being. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, apart from that, there's not a lot to be honest. You know, uh, um, and basically because I've, all I've known is racing. I've been, I've been born into a most with family, as I mentioned, and I've been doing this since I was six years old. So I've not really, you know, I'm into other sports for sure. Like I love sports like tennis and, and I used to play rugby when I was in school. Um, so I'm into other sports, but um, in terms of like a pure hobby, there's not much going on, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, I, once I get back from races, I like to like to chill out. And, and um, I think the older I get, the more I'll probably look at doing things outside the racing from a business point of view or whatever. So that will come. But I'm just so focused on 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 my job um, that I just I sort of just put m most of my energy into that because it's sort of it's say like prime time for me in terms of trying to um, you know you know a, a racing driver's career is, is traditionally quite short so mm -hmm. I try and put as much energy as I can to try and to, 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 you know to stay in the sport for as long as possible so um, 
yeah, so yeah, getting back to your question, not 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 a not a huge amount of hobbies. Um, I have ventured out sometimes, you know, when I was young into other things, but uh, at the moment it's, it's purely, you know, racing and, and just keeping my health in check, which is obviously, you know, vital um, for the longevity of, of my career, but also obviously my life as well. Yeah, I mean, look, absolutely. I think it's it's really interesting, you know, having talked to to some of the other guys as well. Like, um, you know you wouldn't be where you are. You wouldn't be like, you know, based, you know, an athlete, you know, if you weren't kind of really like laser focused, but it, you know, it's always interesting to just see like what else, what else you're uh, kind of into. Yeah. Yeah. It'll come. I think, you know, some guys are super into other things, but, um, you know, that, that will come with, uh, with a bit of age, um, I think. And yeah, I just don't want to sort of, uh, distract myself with other things as well too much. So, um, yeah. And, and, and on normal life, you know, normal life, you know, without the whole, whole COVID thing, yeah. you know, the whole, whole race and stuff takes up a lot of, a lot of, a lot of my time. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, uh, it's all good. I don't feel like I'm missing out or anything. So, yeah. no, yeah. it's all good. <laughs> I mean, hey, look, you're doing what you love. You get to travel the world, you know, I mean, what more can you ask for? Exactly. No, no, I feel, as I said, I've, previously, I, I feel extremely lucky to do what I do um, and, and call it a job. You know, it, it's a very, very cool thing to, to be part of. So, but I feel lucky. So, I'm, um, yeah, I want to give it a good crack, and and and, and uh, yeah. So, a lot of that comes with a lot, of, obviously, a lot of sacrifice, but um, a, a lot of satisfaction as well when you get it right. Yeah, definitely. So, I, I would be like completely remiss if I didn't ask. You know, obviously, Real Racing Three, we're, we're a video game. Uh, you know, do you have any history of video games? Is there anything that you played either like now or, or growing up or anything? It could be anything, you don't have to say real racing. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, when I was younger, um, you know, I used to have, you know, PS4 and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think it was PS4 or PS3 maybe. Yeah. That was PS3, I never got a PS4. Um, yeah, and, and to be honest, I used to love all the racing games, yeah. um, you know, naturally, so. But I, I've sort of, since since I've sort of come to Europe, um, I've sort of just, well, I couldn't really afford an Xbox or anything for a while. And then um, I just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a huge gamer, to be honest, but um, I do I do, do it like it the occasional time. And, and especially recently, we've had simulators installed in, in, into my, my place there, you know, for, for the lockdown period. So some, some games on that. Um, and yeah, but you know, some guys, I know some guys love, you know, shooting games and that sort of stuff, but yeah. I'm not a, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge gamer. So, um, yeah, I might get back into it though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> and, 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 uh, and start tearing it up online. Yeah, yeah, hey, look, Real Racing 3, you know, you could just, it's free, you can download right. it, just play it, you know, in the airport or whatever. Uh, yeah, you know, not, not yeah, to play myself would be quite cool, you know, that, that, yeah, that'd be wicked. Exactly. <laughs> Jump in, see how you do, you know, so in terms of like the, uh, you know, you talked about some of like the simulation uh, racing and, and everything, like, how does that stack up, you know, compared, obviously it's, it's very different, but uh, how did you find that kind of like trying to jump into that, that virtual racing? Um, but to be honest, I found it very frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> It's really tough, like, it's, it's super difficult. Um, and I would say there's some elements that are very realistic, some that are very far away. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the, compared to the simulator we use, you know, at, at, the, at the team factory for our own preparation, that's that's really close, you know, because that's, you know, for a Formula E car, because that, that's specific for a Formula E car that's been, um, that basically runs as like it would in reality. So, yeah. um, that's 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 a really close um comparison but i would say the general sort of simulation games where you can race multiple cars at different tracks they're great games to plug in and, and, and go for it um and have a bit of fun but um yeah they're not quite there you know it's it's um i would say the track maps are very very good mm -hmm. but to get the physics of the cars right is is just so hard you know they're so hard because you've got so many different elements to it Got you know, get, get the tire models right, and even for us, you know, with guys working just in the Formula e platform, to get those things right just take months and months and months and months. So, um, yeah, but you know, it, it is great. You know, if, if you've never raced before on, on you know, in reality, um, or you you just kind of you know you just don't have the opportunity, they're the great you know they're great great programs to, to, to jump on and 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 and, and um, you know get amongst it because you do get a feel for it, you know. Um, it's just guys like us where we've been 
you know, we've been racing our whole lives and mm-hmm. our senses. Some guys really get on top of it quite easily. They, they got more visual sort of references, but some of us feel most of it through our backside and the element gets taken away. So you got to start sort of rewiring the brain a little bit to, to um, you know, to get around the game. But, um, but during this period, it was great, you know, there's a lot of drivers on it and um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely more for the, the real stuff, just mainly because I'm better at it because I, yeah. I, I just, I, I couldn't seem to crack the, uh, the I, I racing and, and that sort of all those other programs, um, you know, that, that well, but um, I, I was fine, but you know, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to that and I was yeah. definitely not, and I wasn't, I wasn't the cream of, um, cream of the bunch, so um, yeah, I lost interest a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I bet it's all good. Um, as I said, they're great platforms if you've never raced before, if you can't, I can't race, you know, in, in real life. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's really it's always interesting to hear because I know, uh, um, like uh, you know, having I've been to a few of the, the Formula E events and you know the way that the, you guys interact with the fans and the, the e racing and everything. Um, now it's just it's just always really interesting to just see like how it translates between you know the virtual world and the real world. Obviously, it's very different, but yeah, very cool. Yeah, it's very different. You know, you get you get some guys that are that are just amazing on the simulators. You know, they just they just get it. They get the game. They know the little tricks. Mm-hmm. But you know, put them in a race car, and there's a lot of other elements that you don't have. You know, you know, obviously the fair factor, the risk involved, um, the feeling. You know, the feelings. You know, it's another element when you're in a real race car. So um, some guys can do both, but yeah, it's it's definitely very specific. So you can get some guys that you've never heard about. And they're just rapid on 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 online platforms, and that's that's quite cool, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, especially esports, esports, you know, obviously re- um, during recent times has got really big. So it's given people that opportunity that they don't have, let's say, the financial sort of support to get out there and and, and make a name for themselves. And that's 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 really cool, you know. That's, that's very cool to see. So um, yeah, there's a, there's a small investment obviously up front with getting. Um, Obviously, with you guys, it's 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 great because you know it's it's all free and, and it's on it's on phone and all that. Um, mm-hmm. There's other elements where you got to get steering wheels and all that sort of stuff, but obviously not to the same extent of, of getting a race car or something and, and trying yeah. to ride it. So um, it's great that you guys do these platforms because it does give people up it does give people an opportunity to to create names for themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see you know as. Um, you know the kind of the the, the world of uh, you know real you know realistic racing and and you know mobile and, and virtual racing and how it kind of blends together. But I mean, you know, obviously, nothing's ever going to replace the real deal, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's hard, right? Like this, that that you lose with the simulations, um, you know, uh, with, the, with the online stuff. Just just because obviously there's no there's no danger really involved, mm-hmm. um, and that's that's something you can't really um, create. Yeah. Unless, unless it's in the real thing so um, yeah that's 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 still it's still good you know you just gotta treat it treat it for what it is and mm-hmm. if you can if you can do that then you know they're, they're great platforms yeah definitely so one final question I like to ask everyone in these in these crazy times you've had these troubled times what is something that you can kind of always go to that just is always going to like bring a smile to your face make you laugh you know what is something that you can always just unwind you know um, well, there's, there's a lot of things, but uh, <laughs> I would say going on like on the Formula YouTube channel and, and, and looking at some of the radio stuff online. Um, yeah, that that's always gives me a chuckle because all the drivers are like different personalities once they get in the car, oh, you yeah. know, and, I, and I'm no angel for that, you know. I, I I'm very chilled. I'm very relaxed out of the car, but in the car, I'm like, it's almost like a, a switch is flicked, and I'm like a, um, I'm a bit more aggressive. Yeah. Oh <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and, and, and all drivers are like that, you know. When you're in the car, the adrenaline's pumping. You just you get really into it. So I would say that gives me a little bit of a chuckle, uh, as long as it's not me that's that looks stupid. But um, yeah, that, that that's always good go to. Um, but yeah, just just funny. I like to, I like to go on funny um, things on online, like Instagram pages that are yeah. got funny, got memes or whatever you call them, um, that sort of stuff. But nothing uh, really. Um, yeah, I mean, I've actually never been asked that, so I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to keep yeah. you on your toes there. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, you're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mitch, I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to come out and talk to us. Uh, you know, you should definitely jump into Real Racing 3. You know, you, you're a playable character. Jump in, you know, see how you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to try and figure out which, which driver to choose. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> no, no. <All> right. <laughs> well, Thank thanks you. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate it.